Let me go on record by saying, fuck finding Valau Wisps, because I'm pretty sure they don't exist. We're going to the small camp, and then we're going to head north, and then probably a bit to the... Are you serious? Oh no, the Death Lanterns. Valau Wisps sure. are blue. Right away. Nothing on them. It's gonna say, fuck you. <laughs> no more walls. Determined to give me that at least. And. Oh, fuck, where'd that go? I know there's the Benedokian village to check out, but I'm not gonna go there just yet. I think that's gonna be a separate video on its own. I have never done that quest. The only thing I do know about it is that it has um, an item that we need to craft. Another important item, a crystal. We need to we need to craft a key from a crystal. Don't know how that works, but it does. All right, small camp. Ooh, hello, resources. Yeah, go. Pick it up, it does have uses and we are gonna need it. Oh, these people have Oh my god, hello. What's that? A flesh mound. These people are all dead. I'm honestly not surprised with the uh the protection they had. I mean, daggers, rusted weapons. Come on. I have no chance. At least you have the nice dress. And you have some cash. Don't mind if I do. You have a crap suit, though. Arcane chest. A ring and a lot of cash. Well, I suppose that was worth it in the uh, scheme of things. You may have noticed I clicked a particular point in the map. Yes, there is something up there. I think I mentioned it in the previous video, but there's a little secret. At the top of the, um... What, these are forests too? I think there's no one there. Please be a wisp. No, it's just a freaking box standard will of the wisp. Because why would it be anything else? And now take me. Ugh. Should be just here. Or close. I know it's close here. Somewhere in the uh, area. Anyway, I know there's a particular interesting little dungeon here, which we might do as well. Go back here. I'm pretty sure it's in this sort of quadrant, is what I'm thinking of. And then we'll check out that Ruby Glade, I think. Ah. Oh, there's more pygmies. Really determined to give me pygmies today. Like lots of pygmies. Come on. Show me it. Show me. Show me. Show me. All right, San Germain. Just the one? All right. Unless it's a bit more over there, but I'm pretty sure it's in this sort of point near the coast. It should be. I'm pretty sure it's in that general quadrant. We'll see. If it turns up nothing, then we'll just move on. But, um... <sighs> it's It doesn't matter overall, because I need XP, and I think once I get to level 35, that should round out all the stuff I need. I can probably begin 
the crafting episode once I get back to Tarant and uh, the Wheel Clan. Actually, I think I could do the entire thing in the Wheel Clan. Maybe. Yeah, because all the shops are there. Alright, yeah, I think we can do it in that place. We'll see when we get to it. Ah, there it is. Well, let's finish this route. We seem to be getting quite lucky with wisps appearing. I swear, half these locations I go into, like the draw, like the points and all that, look like math problems. It might just be my PTSD talking now. I don't have PTSD. I just hate maths. Well, there it goes. I hated maths. I still hate maths. I know it's important. And I'm pretty okay with it now. Apart from algebra. I'm not too strong on algebra, but I can do calculus alright. Which is pretty much a fucking form of algebra if you think about it. But, uh. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Oh, hello. Aw, oh, doggo. God, I hate maths. If I have to do maths again. No, here's the thing. I'm, I hate maths, but when it comes to working out the particular points of a build or something I'm very interested in, I am all over it. But when it comes to everyday maths, it's just like, nah, brain, don't want to work. Anyway, you hear high-pitched rejoicing. Let's uh, wait until morning. <laughs> oh, fuck! Do you get the reference yet? If not, I'll explain once I've murdered all these kites for summoning cats at me. So, now oh, there's still some more. Oh, there's still summoning more cats. Your combat skills are most effective, sir. Who said that? It was Jaina? Oh, thank you. Okay, everything is dead. This is a reference to an old kids cartoon, uh, I'm not sure of the age, but was very old, called Smurfs, or the Smurfs. And in particular was a, the bad guys in this was a very old looking, I don't know if he was a wizard, but he was just an evil guy with a, who was balding quite badly and a cat who was lazy. And uh, they would have adventures and all those kind of typical kids show stuff that try to impart values and all that. It was interesting. I'm sure you probably heard of it in some shape or form. But yeah, it's it's not bad. It wasn't a bad show. Obviously the cat doesn't have anything on them. And I think the kites are uh, just going to have the same stuff on them. Oh, some are some gold. I'll take it. What an interesting little detour, if anything. Now then, I'm not going to go to this dungeon just located just here, just yet. I actually want to go a bit more right and go to the Ruby Glade and start checking out uh, the Grey Mountains and the desert around here. Is that Komodo Dragon? Have you ever seen a Komodo dragon? I've not seen one personally, but I've seen them up close! Wow. I'm expecting that. Whoa! God damn. How interesting. Hang on, let me just uh, make sure I've actually found the location here. I'm pretty sure it's in this quadrant. Should sew itself in a second. The poacher's camp. No, that's not what I'm after. That's part of the Bedokian quest. Know that much. Bedokian quest, sorry. Yeah, Komodo dragons are 
fucking vicious, yo. Like, really vicious. Temperamental little shits, that's for sure, but they're fucking deadly. Their bite has a lot of poison. That can, uh, melt down flesh really quickly. Not something you want to pet, that's for sure. Though I am pretty sure I've seen a keeper pet them, and it's just like, yeah, whatever. Pet me more. Continue to pet me. Whoa! Swamp apes? Oh, we're in a swamp. Oh, how lovely. Swamp apes. Come on. I'm thinking it might be a bit more right, but we'll see. I remember the name of it. That's all I remember. I don't remember the location. I know I know it's quite close to the village. So all I'll do is I'll just skirt around the village a bit more, then we'll go check out the glade. We'll find it. We might just be able to find it this soon, but we'll definitely find it. Bloody swamp. I know, because I know it's in the swamp area, because it's a swampy dungeon sort of thing. But yeah, Komodo dragons are bloody vicious, man. Oh, rats! I haven't seen these in a while. I did not like the sound I was hearing, Volinger. Are you out of bullets? Okay. Alright, how many bullets do I have? I don't have many either. Shit. Oh, well. We'll just have to hope for the best. What was that? Oh, like a lichen. Lovely. More rats. That poison. Oof, nasty. I hope this isn't going to be a continuous thing. I don't think we have the supplies to keep doing that. What was I saying? Yeah, man, Komodo, <laughs> Komodo dragons, man. That's scary as shit. I want to fight them. I'll die. But they're, they're really nasty. I don't actually where I don't know where they're indigenous in, you know. I heard it's like a really remote island. Plague wolf. Yeah. Anyway, Ruby Glade. An eerie ancient place. Well, isn't that just lovely? I bet you'll find it now. This is like above the Komodo dragon, maybe? I don't know. I wonder if that Komodo dragon is really that big. If we go there, do we see a big Komodo dragon? Ah. It's just an angry boar. We could have just walked away from it. Oh well. Let's wait until day. Because I don't know why it keeps putting me there at night. Do I think this is a good idea? Absolutely not. But, I'm sure it will be fine. Interesting looking trees, though. I don't know why the music stopped. I don't like that. Oh, there we are. So as long as we don't pass near us, we should be fine. Guess what? We're gonna pass it. <laughs> Fuck, that was a lot of demons. Is it going to spawn again? No, good. <laughs> and half elf noble. With a barbarian heavy blade. And some armor and some gloves. Is this meant to be a Conan reference or something? The Great Ruby of Karu. Karu? Kalu? The great Ruby Kalu was found. Heed this warning, ere you move around. He who walks without a sound shall pass the death beneath the ground. 
Oh, the demons. Yeah. Well, shit. They're nasty. I want his stuff. Um. Right, I don't know if you have enough inventory space. I don't think you do, but you can take other stuff. Uh, right, you can have this poison. Don't drink it, Vault. Don't, just don't drink it, man. Just, just don't. Um, healing salve? No, you won't need that. Dynamite. I still have dynamite for some reason. I'm pretty sure I need to use it for something, but I'm not sure what just yet. Uh, Jaina, you have a lot of these still, and you still have a lot of wonder drugs and various things. So I can fill out your inventory a bit. Excellent. Yeah, you're doing fine yourself. You can have some of these. I don't think I have anything else for you, though. I need to sell this. Sell the skulls of the Renfro twins. Or in steel. They're already medium encumbered. Which might be a problem, but we'll see. Right then. Hang on, was he... Yeah, he couldn't hold the blade. That's quite funny. The blade was too heavy for him. Chucka. Ooh, yeah, you're... Peek... Oh, whatever. I think it needs some... Yeah, I don't mind moving those. And this. Excellent. Okay. Any more demons, or is that it? No more demons? That was nasty, though. Ugh. I'm not expecting that fight, to be honest. Alright, there's not actually too much in the Grey Mountains overall. It's really quite tame, really. A lot of it really is located more in the Glimmering Forest. But uh, I know there's an altar here somewhere. Um, I think it's around in this location, just around the mountains. Let's take a look. I'm not expecting to find much. I think most of it is just kind of whatever. Quest bits. It's a real shame because it feels like there should be a town here or something. You know, it feels like there should be something more here. But there isn't. I don't know. I feel like in this one particular area, it just feels unfinished. That dog went in two pieces. Poor thing. It just feels unfinished. That's that's why I will say. It just feels like it was meant to be more here, but it just didn't happen. I don't know why. But either way, it's uh it's a nice break. Really, just traveling great distances and exploring the uh the Grey Mountains. Now is the Grey Mountains just referring to this area, the mountains itself? Or is this part of the Glimmering Forest? The bog. Okay, well, that's caught my interest. Let's have a look at that, then. An evil-looking place. Yes, let's totally go there. I know there is a altar around in this location, so we'll do that. Before we go back to the village. I mean, not the village. Um, the bog. I'm... Oh, hello. Fortunately, I do have to keep hoping more for more encounters, because... Whoa! A lycophobe! Okay. I'm oh, sorry, it was a howler. My bad. Because I do need another level. If we can squeeze it out before we finish, that'd be great. Because then... With, uh... Things permitting... We'll be ready for the crafting episode. I'm hoping, anyway. I really am hoping. But if not... No, I'm pretty sure we should be okay and ready for the crafting episode. No. No, we won't be, because we're not maxed out in the mechanical stuff. Ah, oh, that's a point. Mmm, a few more levels yet. Maybe? I don't know. I, I'll have to have a look. A second. Whoa! Hello! There 
actually surprisingly tough. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're leveled. Um, yeah, we need a bit. We even need another level, I think. So, one point health and gun maxing out there. Um, then we have two points left to dump in eye gear and bear trap. Two more levels, basically, before we can do the, uh, what we can do to the level, or we can do the, um, Craftic episode. I'm actually looking forward to the Craftic episode, you know? Alright, what else there's levels to be used? Let's use them. Stog, you already maxed out everything I need, so you can have, uh, some more willpower. Actually, no. You can just have more health, buddy. I don't really need much else. Jaina... I think you just need more dodge, don't you? Damn, I don't actually used all your points in a while, have I? Shame on me. Two points left. Um, not really sure what to give her, honestly. I still need to look at backstab. Can't do an extra damage or a rear back attack, depending on your dexterity. No, why not? We'll just dump points in that. There's no harm in it. And if it does work, it'd be great. If not, that's fine. No, hang on. I just realized the problem. Jaina's strength is too low for what I need her to do. Hmm. Dog is... pretty ridiculous. Look at his health. Has a lot of health. Doesn't much in the way of protection, though, compared to the rest of us. But he's a master at melee! What a good boy. Uh, Magnus. I don't want to do with you, man. I really don't. Um, yeah, it's probably the best thing to do is to put some more points in there. Um, I'll give you an extra point in intelligence. Volinger, you already maxed out everything I needed to be. I guess pick locks might be useful. Yeah, it does increase speed. As if we need a weapon to be more rapid fire. Let's, yeah. Chucka. Chucka, 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 chucka. Let's give you some. I'll give you two points in health and then two points in backstab. Good stuff. That's it. Okay. Let's finish this route, and then we'll leave it there. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go grind this... Whoa, hello. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go grind this last level, you know? I don't want to do the, uh, Badokian village and the poachers camp, because I'm pretty sure they're two in the same place. I think I'm gonna have to go grind it out. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. I'm going to have to go grind out the... Ooh, there it is. Well, might as well keep going for the encounters. Gives me some XP. I can't attack because I don't have enough bullets. So I'm going to have to rely on my companions for damage for now. Let's check out the bog, though, in the next one. Definitely. I'm I, I must admit, I must I am definitely looking forward to the crafting episode. The great thing is, for you guys, you don't actually have to see the grind I have to do for us. The grind I have to do is shop grinding, which is basically just resting outside the shop, going in, buying what I need, rest again so the stock resets, and keep doing it until I get all the parts I need. And there's a lot of parts. <laughs> Quite a bit of a shopping list this time around. But, in theory, this will be the last crafting thing I'll have to do for the entire game. Maybe some repairs? And I think that's why I'll be uh, dumping any points from this point on, after I've got the bits I need, will be uh, put in there. And because repair is needed for all that, no same you can repair otherwise. Plus, it's an easy thing to to build up, overall, and, um, I know where two, I know where the, um, 
the apprentice and the experts are, but I don't know what the master is. There's a master for repair. I'm pretty sure there is. Or, or is it just automatic? I don't know. But either way, still got a bit to do. Alright, the Borg is our next port of call, I think. And I will see you then. Toodles!